It is about to be December 2024, and you might be hearing people start talking about Advent of Code over the next few days and weeks. If you are somebody who programs, who writes code, or wants to write code, Advent of Code can be a great choice to get some extra practice in. Here we're looking at last year's 2023's Advent of Code. The way it typically works is there are 25 days with a part one and a part two. As you complete those days, you get to see more and more of this ASCII image that shows up, and there are leaderboards and a whole bunch of other things, but we're not going to talk about those. The problems are largely word problems, so day one was trebuchet last year. You have to read all of these, you get some input, you get some answer, and you have to write some code to turn this input into this answer. At the bottom, you can get your actual puzzle input and you can submit your answer. In my case, I've already submitted these, so we don't see that submission. And then you unlock part two, which you can then also do. Each part gives you a gold star, which you can go back and see for years to come. There's no time limit on this. You get to do it whenever you want. You can do day one on day 10. You can do day 20, six months from now. It doesn't matter. So if you're interested, how should you go about doing this? Obviously, there are rules for participation. When day one opens, which for us is about an hour and 20 minutes from now, then we'll be able to click on one, do the first problem, and so on. Now, one of the big things people run into when they're doing Advent of Code is that this is a decent amount of work. Doing both parts, part one and part two, for 25 days straight is about 50 problems worth of time. Many people have jobs, many people have other responsibilities, especially towards the end. Now, there's nothing to say that you can't keep doing it wherever you got to after this ends, but generally, if you're somebody who likes doing the problem when it opens, I suggest that you generally do part one, commit to doing part one if this is your first time, and just kind of do part two if you feel like it. Don't try to get all 50 stars, just try to get the first 25. Now, the second reason I make the suggestion is because there are difficulty spikes both as the problems progress towards the end and also sometimes in the middle. So some of these problems can get pretty hectic with decently complicated input that you might need to parse and fairly large numbers you have to come up with, which means high amounts of computation. Now, not all of the problems are like this, typically only a few, but they are more often in the part twos than the part ones. So for example, for this one, you can see my answer was somewhere around 430,000, which is a totally computable number for any program, as opposed to this number, which takes much more computing time to come up with. And if you happen to have written, you know, an inefficient solution or used the wrong algorithm or something like that, it can be hard to get this number in a reasonable amount of time. So I think if you're doing this for the first time, if you're doing this to have fun, if you're doing this to learn a new programming language, start by doing part one, and then don't worry about part two as much. Try to make it through all 25 days just doing part one, instead of trying to overdo it potentially and commit to all 50. Now I do this every year. So I've got all the way back as 2017. This year I've just set up my 2024 setup. You can use any language to do it. Pick one you're going to enjoy. It doesn't matter how you set it up. I separate mine into specific days. I do some benchmarks. I do some other things. Absolutely does not matter. Do it the way that you want to do it. If you're interested in participating in Advent of Code and you're looking for a group to do it with, I do it in Rust every year and I have a Discord of people who participate in Advent of Code throughout the December season. I'll include a link to that in the description. And if you're watching this, the first problem is probably already open. So if you're not sure, just go take a look. Go to Advent of Code, click on the first problem, see if you'd like it. I'll be doing videos every day regardless. I'll be following the general rule of doing the first star every day for the video. And I'll generally be leaving part two for the Discord. So if you're interested in getting involved, come on and get started, and I'll see you in the next one.